Hey everybody, it's Tracy. I am doing a Tuesday tour of, oh, that sun kind of makes me look shiny. Let me get over here where I'll have more of a matte finish. Um, I am at a house in La Follette. We're on Mohawk Trail. Um, that's actually between um, Tennessee Avenue and Indian River Village. So in between those two areas, Mohawk Trail, we're actually at the end of the street, and when we go outside, I'll show you. We're across from a creek and at a dead end with an extra lot. So you truly don't feel like you're in town, but you are. So it's great. Um, it's a large house. We've got tons of square footage, lots of room to spread out. Um, Three-bay garage, um, let's see, screened-in porch, decks, Everything you want. We have fireplaces, big bedrooms, high ceilings. I'm going to post the link also to the listing so you can actually look at it. Uh, some of my pictures on the listing are dark. I, I didn't have my professional do them yet, so hopefully he'll get out here and get them done. And then you'll be able to really see how the house looks. Uh, again, if you know somebody that's in the market, if you think you know somebody that might like this house or is just looking, Share. I would so appreciate it um, if you share it. Um, post comments if you have questions. If there's questions that you've got about the house or anything about it, post questions. Sometimes I don't see it because I get all twisted and I don't notice them, but I'll see them later and I'll come back and answer them. So I'm going to turn us around. You know, I never can figure this out. There you go. Turn you around and we are at the entrance. So when you walk in the door, this is what you see. There's a really high for your here and in this living room and we have a fireplace in that gorgeous stone fireplace with gas logs beautiful windows here's the view so again we're in La Follette but it doesn't really feel like La Follette because you don't feel like you're in town again here's this living room and we have this I think is actually designed to be a dining room they're using it as an office so here's the space here and let me their office has a gorgeous view as well and then here's the living room <coughs> excuse me thanks sam the fireplace is beautiful and there's another one also that you'll see so and the kitchen is huge the kitchen is so big and here's the cabinetry, lots of space. They do have a prep sink on the island. And the kitchen, and then there's the back. We have a fenced yard and more. Well, good morning <laughs> from Santa Rosa. How are you, Linda? It is a great size kitchen really big and then you've even got this island so I'm gonna come this way and let you see there's a bar and an island beautiful wood floors and a huge pantry here a lot neater than my pantry at my house so here's the eating kitchen area and with this it's generous enough that they've decided to use the dining room as an office so you've got great space and then here's the these high ceilings in this what I would call a keeping room or a den. Here's the fireplace and the toys for the grandbabies. Um, but there is gas logs. There are gas logs in there. And back over to here. And we'll take a real quick little look out here. We have a screened porch. And it goes on to the deck. And I think we make it no. I thought we were going to get a little visitor. There's some little paws that were out there, but they did not come back up. So this is basically the living space that, <clears throat> that you've seen. So we have a living room, a dining room, which is being used as an office, a kitchen, and then a den or a keeping room. Up here we have a full bath. You can get a view of that. And a bedroom. And that's a queen size bed. So there's tons of room in addition to that. And then over here, another bedroom. So you have two guest rooms on this level. 
and the master. And the master bedroom is huge, very spacious. You've got king size bed that fits with, you have a high ceiling, great views, very private on this end of the street because there's nobody beyond you and the road actually ends. And action zone. So this is the master bath. And we are in the process of reconfiguring the master bath. And we're going to walk on through to the closet. So here is the closet. And back to our construction zone. That's going to be the shower. And we have <coughs> the sinks on this side. You just kind of have to have some imagination and pretend or play like. That's what we used to go down the stairs to the basement, which offers a wonderful workroom, full bath, and a bedroom. So here's the bedroom right here and the workroom with all this cabinetry, pegboard, and we have a full bath in here. So we, and then we have a shower there. So this could be used a lot of different ways. And we're gonna go out into the garage. Don't lose ya. I probably won't, cause I'm not gonna go very far. Let me see if I can figure out how to, how to open the, garage door um let me see if i can figure that out nope can't figure that one out so here is so you have a two bat two car on this side and a one car on that side and i will take some pictures and add some outside so thank you all for watching, um, share it, uh, post, tag people, just anything you can do that will be obnoxious enough to get this house some more attention. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you next time.